Hello, today is March 26, 2024. I'm Jason Shapiro with Crowded Market Report. Here's my thoughts on the market today on the close. Um, so the first thing is we had a, a, a treasury auction today in the five years, and it went very well. Um, and I'll make a few comments on that. First of all, the fact that it's still going well means there's clearly still liquidity out there, okay? If there was an excuse for people wanting to, you know, sell because the U.S. government had to raise all this cash, it's there every day. And meanwhile, they're still bidding for it. Now, having said that, the five years didn't do very much um, despite that, although they did go up, bonds did go up. So that's sort of as expected. Um, however, despite the good treasury auction, um, stocks reversed and closed down on the day. And that was led, the interesting part for me is that was led by the NASDAQ. And people on our Discord um, <clears throat> know that I feel this way, and we track this very closely. But the NASDAQ started to underperform the market um, about halfway through the day today. And I am a big believer that over time, and most of the time, the NASDAQ will lead. And it did. Once the NASDAQ started to lead um, down, um, that's when we really started to get selling in the stock market. And, and of course... And that's an important thing to watch, in particular if you're an intraday trader. Um, of course, that was led by the fact that, uh, you know, NVIDIA and, and all of the, the favorites, um, you know, started to get killed, right? Um, NVIDIA was down very early on the day when the market was still up and basically closed on the low. SMCI closed on the low. ARM closed on the low. Um, so... That's kind of what happened today. Uh, an interesting that did, thing that did come across my desk today is this idea of the utilities, uh, XLU. This is um, the utility ETF. It suddenly has become a favorite for everybody because they think interest rates are going down because the Fed is telling us that. And interest rates that did go down today. Bonds went up. Interest rates went down. And the XLU was down by 10 a.m. It was down in the day closed on the low and was one of the worst performers of the day. Um, so again, uh, people buying the laggards for these fundamental reasons um, usually get hit. And uh, that happened today with the XLU. We'll see if that continues. Um, other than that, you know, I've been talking about silver a lot yesterday. Uh, silver a lot. Um, had another crappy day today. Silver was down a percent and a third today. Um, which is a pretty decent move. Um, with gold actually up slightly on the day. Uh, with dollar slightly up on the day. So silver continues to trade like crap. And I, I showed the positioning stuff yesterday, which helps me explain why that is. So those are the things that I thought were interesting today. Um, pretty low volume. I don't know how significant all this is for a longer term play, but um, I continue to hear on the television, nobody bearish, okay? Yes, they think that there could be a pullback here, but it is to be bought. I can't hear anybody bearish. And uh, listen, a year ago, we heard nobody bullish. So I am not a proponent of being massively long here, although I am not a proponent of being short either. I think it's a sit and wait period here. Um, until things clear up a little bit. Just my personal opinion, but we will continue to watch and monitor and see where the risk reward may favor ourselves. Thank you. Have a good day, and I will talk tomorrow.